In 1949, Hoosier Energy was born from a need to bring affordable and reliable power to Indiana's rural countryside at a time when electricity was still a luxury for many farm families. Electricity has long since been a basic necessity in our everyday lives, especially now in our ever-evolving digital world. As we celebrated 65 years of service in 2014, our focus continued to be on providing member distribution systems with assured, reliable, and competitively priced energy and services in an environmentally acceptable manner. Our mission has stood the test of time. Today, Hoosier Energy has grown to serve 18 member systems in Indiana and Illinois with 2,100 megawatts of diversified generation. Our mission rests on three principles, competitively priced power to members, safe and reliable power supply to member systems, and respect for the environment. In today's utility environment, a diverse mix of generating resources is essential to meeting members' growing power requirements now and in the future. Record demand reached 1,698 megawatts on January 6, 2014, an 11% increase from the previous all-time peak. Throughout the snow and deep freeze, Hoosier Energy employees made sure power plants and the transmission system operated reliably. Generating units performed well and coal units were instrumental in meeting consumer needs. The Merrim Generating Station produced 6.4 million megawatt hours, an increase of 10% compared with the previous year, all while posting an overall 81.3% availability factor. The RATS Station generated 594,000 megawatt hours, with a 73% availability factor for the year. The coal fire plant has provided reliable and efficient generation for more than four decades. Generation from natural gas plants helps supply baseload, intermediate and peaking capacity needs, in addition to meeting important reserve capacity requirements. The Holland, Lawrence, and Worthington natural gas plants produce nearly 175,000 megawatt hours during the year. The 258 megawatt Lawrence generating station recorded the best year ever for startup and operational reliability since it came online in 2005, experiencing 100% startup and 99.1% of operational reliability. Operational reliability at the Worthington station was 97%. Improvements are planned for both plants to increase their capabilities for meeting peak demands in winter. The Holland Energy Power Plant recorded operational reliability of nearly 100%, with generation of more than 148,000 megawatt hours. Hoosier Energy's renewable energy portfolio performed well in 2014. More than 225,000 megawatt hours were generated at the Clark Floyd, Livingston, Osprey Point, and wind and hydro facilities. Last year, the power delivery staff and services moved to the new operations center in Owen County. The new center includes engineering offices, warehouses, maintenance, vehicle service and storage facilities, a communications tower, and Hoosier Energy's system control center. Investment in reliability pays off. Justin Swarens, manager of System Control Services, explains how new technology associated with Power System Control's new energy management system is benefiting member systems. System Control's primary responsibility is to monitor and control Hoosier Energy's assets in the form of transmission and generation. That really starts with gathering data from the field. We've implemented a lot of new technology here at Owen County in the new control room. Um, the energy management system allows us to put the right information in front of the operators to make decisions and to efficiently operate both the transmission and generation system, all contributing to our membership and the reliability and, and operation of our system. The configuration of the energy management allows us to gather information from the field in several different methods and gives us a lot more options for efficiency compared to some of the old systems that we had. The video wall gives us the ability to uh, reconfigure the system whenever we make major changes to infrastructure such as a substation or add a line. This is all, of course, software driven, uh, allowing us to make the change in a single line display and then display it on the video wall as well as our operating screens. The configuration of the alarming here in system control allows us to take the data that we retrieve from the field and put the right data in front of the operators to make better decisions and more, more timely decisions all leading to more efficient and reliable operation of the transmission and generation system to the benefit of our members.
Hoosier Energy invested nearly $17 million in capital projects in 2014 to ensure reliable delivery of power to members. New large power transformers at the Bloomington and Petersburg switchyards were successfully placed into service. Transformers are used to raise and lower voltage, essential for reliability. Other improvements included reconstruction of the Salisbury substation for Utilities District of Western Indiana REMC, replacement of a larger transformer at Taswell, and substation upgrades in territories served by Whitewater Valley REMC, Clark County REMC, and Wynn Energy REMC. Capital improvements strengthened the backbone infrastructure of member systems necessary for economic growth. In 2014, economic development efforts included 58 new or expanded business projects served by members. These projects are expected to result in 2,200 new jobs, over $600 million in new investment, and 45 megawatts of new load for member systems. Hoosier Energy also updated its economic development website. HoosierSites.com features valuable resources to support economic growth through member-served communities. The safety of our workforce is always a top priority. In 2014, we built on our successes and then set the bar even higher. The RAT Station workforce extended its outstanding safety record to eight years without a lost time accident. Power delivery crews exceeded two years without a lost time accident, and the Merrim Station exceeded one year. We also received a favorable audit report from the Rural Electric Safety Achievement Program. Twelve cooperative employees graduated from our nationally acclaimed apprentice program, the Hoosier Energy Apprentice Training and Safety, or HEATS, with 8,000 hours of on-the-job training and 576 hours in the classroom. Nearly 600 apprentices have graduated from the rigorous hands-on and academic program since it began in 1975. But our successes in safety don't begin and end there. That's why we're building a best-in-class, safe-by-choice culture. On December 4th, the company kicked off a pilot corporate-wide safety initiative at the Merrim Station with the goal of taking safety from good to great, ensuring a corporate-wide culture that promotes an injury-free workplace and home. We look forward to reporting initial results next year. Hoosier Energy endorses an all-of-the-above approach to our power supply portfolio. A diverse fuel supply balances reliability, cost, and environmental concerns without sacrificing one for the other. When the Environmental Protection Agency proposed new greenhouse gas regulations that would severely restrict coal as a power supply option and push costs much higher, cooperatives across the country, including Hoosier Energy, took action. Last year, cooperatives in Indiana submitted more than 90,000 comments to the EPA, the fourth highest of any state in the nation, in a concerted effort to urge EPA to find a common sense solution that doesn't raise the cost of power or eliminate coal as a power supply choice. As the national climate change debate continues, one thing is certain, availability and affordability of energy are of great concern to G&T members and their consumers. Hoosier Energy has been and continues to take action to limit future greenhouse gas emissions. Hoosier Energy, its board of directors and member systems recognize that renewables, as well as gas-fired and coal generation, are important to meeting a projected 24% increase in member needs by 2032. Recent significant actions include the Board of Directors voluntarily adopting a renewable energy program that targets supplying 10% of member energy from renewables by 2025. Fifteen years ago, Hoosier Energy's 1,250 megawatt resource portfolio was 100% coal. Today, our diversified 2,100 megawatt portfolio is 64% coal along with 33% natural gas and 3% renewable energy. In 2014, the Board of Directors approved a 10-megawatt solar program with 10 1-megawatt installations planned across member service territories by the end of 2016. Hoosier Energy also doubled its wind capacity in 2014 thanks to a 15-year, 25-megawatt power purchase agreement with the Rail Splitter Wind Farm in central Illinois. Hoosier Energy's diverse power supply portfolio now includes energy from wind, solar, hydropower, landfill gas, and coal bed methane. Methane represents one of the most potent greenhouse gases. Thanks to work with members, we're turning this gas into renewable energy. The 16-megawatt Orchard Hills Landfill Gas Project in Rockford, Illinois is scheduled to begin production in 2016. 
Orchard Hills will join the 3.5 megawatt Clark Floyd landfill in southern Indiana, which began operation in 2007, and the 14 megawatt Livingston landfill in Pontiac, Illinois. Hoosier Energy furthers its longtime commitment to environmental stewardship through community programs and educational initiatives. Freshwater Fred's online lending library provides teachers with access to 1,100 educational videos, software programs, and curricula. Hoosier Energy also offers many educational opportunities at events, field trips, classroom demonstrations, and our Turtle Creek Education Center. Helping consumers better manage energy usage by making their homes, farms, and industries more efficient continues to be a priority at Hoosier Energy. Energy efficiency and demand-side management provide opportunities to reduce demand at a lower cost than building new power plants or purchasing bulk power in the often volatile open market, while also decreasing the electric bill for the end consumer. In 2008, Hoosier Energy adopted a demand-side management and energy efficiency program that targets a 5% reduction in member demand and energy by 2018. Annual savings attributed to DSM in 2014 totaled over 25,000 megawatt hours while reducing winter peak demand by over 7 megawatts and summer demand by 4 megawatts. Since 2009, over 160,000 megawatt hours have been saved with a winter peak reduction of 58 megawatts and nearly 35 megawatts in summer peak reduction. Energy efficiency extends to our new Bloomington headquarters as well. The facility, completed in December 2014, is designed for long-term business operations and sustainability. Its many green energy features make it 48% more energy efficient than comparable new buildings. Hoosier Energy moved into the new headquarters in December after a well-thought-out plan to consolidate locations and create greater work efficiencies. We looked at a lot of different sites, and what better place to land? I can just tell you that going through the process made us a better board. It made us a, a more cohesive board. It made us understand the operations um, better than what we ever have. And, and I think that's a, a huge intangible asset that we can point to. Beyond power supply, support for member communication efforts included more than 50 projects in 2014, including articles, photography, videos, design and web services, presentations, tours, meetings, and Touchstone Energy regional partner support. Without a doubt, none of 2014's achievements could have happened without the dedication of the Hoosier Energy workforce. Their commitment to a culture of execution supports Hoosier Energy's strong foundation and ensures the proven cooperative business model that worked so well for the last 65 years will continue to flourish for years to come.